The other one, I told you the first factor that just may operate is sight. Can I tell you the second factor? Time. Time weighs us down, don't us? Well, if God was for you, you ain't got that call yet? <laughs> you ain't got that job yet? Your marriage ain't fixed yet? That, that's when we lose hope. Because the time, we think God's going to work instantaneously. Right. Uh, somebody need to say, David, uh, you got the mic. David said it took 16 years before I became king. Right, Jesus. Somebody better ask Joseph. Somebody let Joseph come testify. Joseph said, man, they threw me in a pit. Then they put me in Potiphar's house. Then they put me in prison. And all this time, I waited and waited. It took over 16-something years for me to get where God want me to get. Right. But time will make you feel dismayed that God has left you. Yes. Yes. Can I give you a New Testament example? Praise the Lord. The Bible says a woman of God had an issue of blood and she put on her healing dress that morning. Uh. <laughs> put her lipstick on. No, she woke up this morning and said, mm, I'm tired of living like this. Yes, I done yes. made up my mind God been trying to get a blessing. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. And Jesus said, who touched me? Peter said, man, there's a crowd around you. Jesus said, you don't understand. The crowd may be around me, but there's one that touched me. We may have a crowd in this place, but somebody need to touch Jesus today. Yes, somebody need to say, I'm tired of being tired. Yes. God's trying to get a healing to you this morning. Yes. God's trying to get a deliverance to you this morning. Yes. How can I get it, preacher? Fear not. Yes. Amen. You understand if God tells you to jump off a cliff and you ain't got the wing before you hit the ground, he's going to get your wing. Yes, sir. All right. If God tells you you're going to be a jet pilot, you better start saying, now let me see what jet I'm going to buy. Because yes. Numbers 23, 19 declares, God is a man that he should not lie. Yes. Now the son of man that he should repent. If he spoke it, will he not bring it to pass? Yes. Is there anybody ready to get a promise from God this yes. morning? Yes. Yes. Amen. All I want to do is go to church. No. I want to go to church, get me a word, and get filled up, and go bless somebody else. Yes, Amen. Amen. How many know when the children of Israel left out of Egypt, it was a twofold? Amen. God just didn't say, get out of bondage. He said, mm, get out of bondage, and then go move into the land, come on, with milk and honor. We got saved, and we thought that was all it was to it. No, you're supposed to be flowing in a land of milk and honey. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let fleshly problems hinder the promises of God. Amen. The Bible says, Here I will help thee. I will uphold thee. The right hand of my righteousness. Now, not your righteousness. Not your mama or daddy's righteousness. Not even you could do stuff for the preacher. That ain't, that ain't helping you either. It's only Jesus. Hallelujah. See, my pulpit is not designed for me to show you how smart I am. My pulpit is designed for me to show you Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Amen. You want to talk about anything else? Me, Matt, Denny's or Shawnee's or anyone? We ain't talking about anything else, but not here. Yes, Ooh, my preacher's so educated. No, I want to become uneducated. Yes, I want to become all things to all men that I may win some. Yes, yes. How, preacher? I want to tell you this morning, stop fearing. Yes, yes. Enjoy the good life God gave you. Yeah, but my son, you better speak boldness. Yes. My son offer drugs. Yes. Amen. My son delivered. Amen. My daughter serving God. Yes, God. The good thing you can have, if there's a prophecy spoken on your life when you were a child, you better name it and claim it this morning. Mm -hmm. yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If God's giving you a vision, like I know he gave his sister a prayer mount. You better hold on to that. You know what that means? You can't die until you get your prayer mount. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. My God, do you know your purpose this morning? Yes, Lord. Look at verse 11 with me. Amen. Man, we just on verse number 2. Yes. Amen. That's all right. <laughs> Behold, all they that were incensed against you, shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, and they that war mean they're no longer. In other words, I'm here to tell you, God is trying to get something into your hands this morning. Turn to your brother and sister and say, you know, God's trying to get a promise in your hand. I'm trying to get a promise in your hand. Here's the promise this morning, Brother Blake. Brother Binky, Sister Shoo Shoo, Moo Moo, Bubba and Bubba Rat. 
Here's the promise this morning. Everyone who has ever questioned you, everyone who ever questioned your deliverance, oh, you sure you healed? Oh, you sure you delivered? How do you know you? God says, I'm going to make it as nothing. Amen. You know when God said, get out the way and let me fight this battle? Yeah. Yeah. Remember the battle and do no more. Yes, Lord. How do you know he said, draw a line in the sand and tell the devil, here's a two and no more. Yeah, Lord. I want my sleep back. I want to sleep the whole night through. I'm tired of being anxious. I'm tired of being nervous. No more. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed. Yep. They ever even doubted you. They even ever questioned you. Well, if you're a preacher, how come this? Well, if your marriage blessed, how come your kid like this? Oh, God's about to turn it around for you, saints. God's about to turn what was bad to good. God's about to turn around what was stinking to smelling like perfume. Somebody need to say, thank you, Jesus. I want to receive that promise today. Everybody that has ever doubted your prophecy, God says nothing shall hinder you anymore. Yes, Lord. Why, preacher? Have you not read where God said you're the head and not the tail? Yes. He didn't give no criteria. Yes. He said you are the head and not the tail because I said so. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God said you're going to be blessed going out and blessed coming in. Yes. Yes. How many know that settles it this morning? Yes, Lord. God says he take a nothing and make him a something. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God can take a broken vessel and make it an honorable vessel. Yes. That's the God we serve. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the head and not the tail. Amen. Look at the latter part of verse 11 where he says, And they that strive with thee. You know what strive mean? Strive means people that vex you day and night. You tell them it's raining, and they say, no, it's not. You tell them, oh, today, Friday, no, it's Thursday. Everything you say, they won't say the opposite of, oh, God bless my marriage. The way that man treats you, <laughs> they're striving with you. Everything you're saying, they're opposing everything you're saying. My God. Amos 3.3 3 says, how can two walk together? Least can't be agreed. You know what he's saying? You can't walk with people that's striving against you, hoping your marriage fail, hoping your business fail. My God. My God. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. They that strive with you. Well, we just want to bless the internet viewers. We pray this message has been a blessing. Please stay tuned. We got a message for you. Be blessed. We thank you for joining us this morning. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed this word from the Lord. If what you have heard has been a blessing to you, this sermon is available in its entirety on CD or cassette at our e-store. And I want to take this time to offer to you the greatest opportunity made to man. I'm speaking about salvation, life after this life. Have you made preparations for your ultimate destination? The Bible declares in John that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall never perish, but have life everlasting. The truth is, God loves you. God wants the best for you. God's made a way for you. If you want everlasting life, if you want to know that God has made a way, if you want to know for a surety, that heaven is your determined destination with God and hell is not for you. Please say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I am a sinner. I repent of all my sins. I believe you died for me and rose again. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that you are now my Lord and my Savior. I give you lordship over my life, and I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen and amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with me, welcome to a new home. Welcome to a new way of living. Please write us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear about your life-changing decision. I hope to hear from you soon. God bless.